Hi there, it's Peter here again, the guy who hates tomatoes but loves front-end development. Today we will have a look at a website from Italy, we will have a look at the locussolus.it and we will deconstruct some of the green sock and scroll magic animations. The site has a few interactive elements like this cool hover state in the menu and then obviously the biggest circle menu where we can drag the knob and transition to a different project using a creative transition between the projects and some of the detailed pages also using scroll magic. Okay, very cool site, very playful. Go and check it out. It's at locus-solus.it. And now let's have a look at it in more detail. Let's firstly have a look at the about us and contact us hover states. Is this SVG? Is it JavaScript? Is it CSS animation? Let's figure it out. We'll inspect the element. We'll try to trigger the hover state and see if the CSS animation is triggered, but as you can see, the hover state is not animated using CSS. The CSS animation are still empty, which means that the four spans inside of the link are animating using JavaScript. There is a bottom, top, right and left and horizontal and vertical stars. And based on that, they animating the left, right and width or bottom top and height. You could achieve similar effect by animating the scale, scale X and scale Y, changing the transform origin points to different side of the borders. So you could achieve similar effect using just CSS animations. The next thing we look at is this circular slider. Okay, as you can see, there's a massive circle and you can rotate the knob to different position to come to a different project or to different piece of furniture. And this is a very creative and eye catchy effect, which I'm sure when you go to the side, you will keep playing with just transitioning between the individual projects and also the elastic wave on the slider. It's really cool. Okay. All this is created using green sock. So the side is using green sock and the drag and drop plugin to create this draggable interface. If we inspect the page, we'll see a little canvas object. The canvas is the circle, which is the indicator where we dragging, but the parent, the knob, it's actually a much bigger element and we are actually rotating it. And the a little circle, the little canvas circle is just an indicator how far we rotate it. The spot has a top offset, 8% set by the JavaScript. The default CSS position is top 6%. So if I give it a important and try to overwrite it, you will see how changing the top offset changes the position of the canvas circle. And this is all included in the much bigger element. As I said, the parent, the knob is a massive object which rotates using the matrix 3D. If you've never used matrix 3D, it's quite complex calculations. It has a 16 numbers inside of it. So you could transform using rotate 3D and translate 3D like this, or you could split it into the transform matrix 3D, which gives you 40 or 16 values inside of the brackets. Okay, so if you would calculate the number of values inside of here, this is 16 as well. Okay, so what all of them mean, I won't cover in this tutorial or in this deconstruction, but feel free to refer to the code drops matrix 3D reference to find out how it actually works in more detail. And now let's have a look what are the circles during the transition. Okay, so once we transition to a different project, you'll see a nice creative transition. So what are these circles coming on the screen? Let's try to figure it out looking through the DOM. Uh, 
Okay, so I found it. It's inside of the main and slider home container. There's a BG underscore color, which has six circles inside of it. And these six circles are what create the transition. Okay, based on the class, it has a different color. What's inside of the circles? Let's pause this for a moment and let's have a look what's inside of it. We've got an image which is a 10 by 10 pixels, square pixels. Not sure what it is for. And then there is a span, full width and full height with a background. And does it have a border radius? Yes, it has a border radius. Okay, so it is a simple div which has a border radius. That's why it looks like a circle, but it's a simple, simple div with, which looks like a circle. Okay, very clever. This is the background color, which is changing from page to page based on the prod underscore and number. Here are some of the plugins used on the side swiper, which is used for a sliding snap SVG for creating some of the SVGs, modernizer head room, which shows and hides the header based on whether you're scrolling down or up. So if I now start scrolling up, the header shows. That's the headroom JS in a use. And then we have a green sock and scroll magic with a couple plugins. Here's the twin max included with the draggable min JS as well. Throw props, scroll to plugin, draw SVG plugin, and a couple of the default attribute and color props plugins. And the scroll magic with animation GSAP, which lets you use twin max together with scroll magic and uh, add indicators for debugging. And where do you see scroll magic in action? If you go to any of the projects, click on the detail and scroll down, you'll see the main hero image of the furniture scrolling down at a much slower pace than the rest of the site. Okay, so the detailed pages have the scroll magic in action. And that's it all for today. Hope you've enjoyed this deconstruction and let me know in the comments what do you think about GreenSock, the Draggable plugin and the interface on the site itself. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this from the guy who hates tomatoes but loves front-end development. Until next time, happy coding!